Hi all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another tutorial but another crafting one this time. This time it will be how I converted and painted my ash waste palonite enforcers. But I will put them on the screen so you can have a better look. You see? Pretty cool, pretty easy and without further ado, let's do this! Come on! Alright my friends, building time, so I'm gonna build the body as normal, but not the arms, weapons or head just yet. So just pick one, I'm gonna add some details to the base, setting him on a piece of cork to represent a rock. Now good head options are breeding mask uh, figures like Gene Steeler Cultist, Chaos Space Marines and Skitari Rangers. And I'm gonna take this one as it is bald, just like mine. <laughs> And I'm gonna cut the loincloth above the belt from this Chaos Space Marine and I'm also gonna use a chainsword arm. Also from the Chaos Space Marines, they have plenty of uh, extras. Now I'll pick out a cool uh, looking gun. And uh, I want my enforcer to have bare arms so I'm going to slice off the hand that's holding the chainsword. Just take uh, a knife to it but uh, go, go slowly, go gently. I'll take a, a little bit of a nail file and sand it down. Now I'm gonna take the arm that I want to use to hold the chain sword and I'm gonna cut the hand off so I can attach it to the sword. Could be that you have to uh, sand it down a bit to make it fit. Now do the same for the torso, cut it above the, above the belt. And then start to scrape the excess on the inside to make it fit better to the enforcer's torso. Could be that you can sand it down a little bit. Now dry fit before gluing. And once I'm happy, I'm attaching this with plastic glue. Now don't worry about the bit sticking out or does it that it does not look right. I'm going to glue uh, holsters and grenades and all that goody stuff <laughs> to the side of the model. But yeah, looking cool so far. All right, so file down and sand the heads so that it uh, matches nicely with the figure. Play around with it and I'm gonna glow on uh, both arms. Just uh, using plastic glue and he looks awesome to me. Nice. Now I did a couple of them so pick a pose on in the model that you like that think that you think that looks cool and start begin by attaching pouches grenades and stuff like that and as you can see I did a couple of them. And here is one that I already primed black. Now the tattered ropes that is hanging on the back of him is what I is basically just from some night haunt uh, kits that came with the Mortal Realms magazine. They make for awesome tattered ropes. Now add sand or texture to the base before priming him black. Now this is how I painted him. Uh, it won't win you any awards, but I'm happy with it. So, but before we get into painting, please one moment of your precious time. Hey guys. Hope you're enjoying the video so far and here's a quick reminder to please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification or share this video with somebody who you think might like my stuff. And also a quick word from this video's sponsor. The Spellfanat, my local gaming store in Mechele. Now if you are from or visiting Belgium, be sure to swing by their store. It is my friendly local gaming store where I bought my models where I buy all my models <laughs> and these guys are kind enough to sponsor my channel so many thanks to the Spellfanat and be sure to visit this awesome store if you are ever in the area. Anything from role play to war games, card games to board games, this is your go-to place in Belgium. Thank you Spellfanat for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to painting an Ash Waste Enforcer. And here he is, primed black, looking cool. A nice palonite enforcer for the ash waste. Now I'm gonna use Xandri dust to pick out all the cloth parts including his pants and uh, the shirt that he's wearing. You can see it underneath uh, his neck. So you will need two thin coats for this because it's a rather thin paint. So here he is two thin coats later. <laughs> Now I'm going to use Cadian Flesh on the skin or whatever color you would like your skin to be. I'm using Cadian Flesh here. Also don't forget the head, the arms. 
well, basically any flesh area. And you will also need two coats of this as well. Now I'm going to use Dark Reaper for the armor panels. I'm simply painting the armor uh, the same way like my regular enforcers. You could do this with a camo pattern or any pattern that you like, but I'm sticking with the regular uh, Palanite Enforcers color. And also do the shin guards, the knee guards, and I'm also painting the back and the gloves with the same Dark Reaper color. And here he is, two coats later. Starting to look like a Palanite Enforcer. And I also, while I'm doing this, do the other ones as well. Depending on how many models that you're planning on doing, just do all of them. Now I'm going to use Avalon Sunset on the stripes and the inner circle. And then I'm going to highlight that with Flash Gits Yellow. And just with the side of the brush, you can drag it over the stripes gently. Avalon Sunset is a color that covers quite nicely for a yellow color. I really like it. Now I'm going to stipple on some flash gets yellow for highlights do the same for the other ones as well and i'm gonna cover all the cloth and yellow parts with a sepia wash also including the stripes on the shoulders also give it a coat of sepia and that will blend it in nicely with the, the armor and it will dirty up the armor panels as well which is also pretty cool now with flayed one flesh i'm going to give a heavy bright brush and stippling motion on the cloth parts to make it uh, a little bit more gritty and textured and if you have skulls on the base you can do them with this color uh, while you're at it stippling it on like so Be careful, any mistakes that you make can be tidied up later, so no worries. So here you can see the textured look of the cloth, and I'm very happy with this. Now let's do some camo. So mixing up four parts of Rackard Flesh to two parts of Lauren Green here. You can uh, make it a little bit wet, just start by mixing and getting this uh, dirty green-gray color. And I'm going to paint in some stripes running diagonally, both upwards and downwards to create a, a little bit of a camo pattern. I know it's very light, but uh, that's what I'm going for. Also, don't forget to do this on the, the, the pants and uh, yeah, any part that's clawed, basically. Now, next that I'm going to mix is a Dark Reaper with Bad and Black. So basically, I mix three parts Dark Reaper to one tiny drop of Abaddon Black and mix this in with the previous mixture until I get a grayer version of the former color that we just made, as you see me do here. Just uh, mix it up till you get something similar and then I'm going to paint in the stripes, overlapping some areas, dotting in a few areas as well. And you can make the lines thinner if you want, I'm just playing around with the camo, there are a lot of great tutorials to paint camouflage on miniatures online so have a look at them but this is just the way that I did it and yeah I'm kind of happy with how it's turning out now I'm also stippling in some black dots on the camo and I uh, were also paint the belt in black as well and also started by dotting in some Corax white inside of the black and at random spots on the, the camo. Just like the look of it. I'm gonna use a lid belcher on all the metallic parts, the teeth of the chainsaw, of the chainsaw, uh, the belt buckle, the gun, some uh, armor, armor panelings in the back here, the breathing mask, the glasses, all over where you want the metal to be. Now I lost a bit of footage, but I'm going to use Mornfang Brown on all the leather parts, like the leather belt and the gun holsters and straps. And I also highlight the blue armor again with Dark Reaper and then some Thunderhawk blue. Now I'm going to use Nolan Oil on the, all the metallics and on the leather parts. And as you can see, I did the base with Mornfang Brown as well. Looking cool, dirty up, perfect for the ash waste. Again, not going to win you any golden demons, but 
it looks cool to me. Now I'm going to highlight the metal parts with Stormhost Silver and simply paint the base and you are good to go. So here they are on the Ashways board that I've built along with some other terrain pieces that I've built also on the channel if you want to see them. Now yeah I'm really happy how these guys turned out and I will definitely be doing more of them to make a complete, uh, a complete gang of them yeah. Thank you all for watching everybody and I am in no way an expert converter like many others on YouTube uh, nor am I a pro painter but I like to think that I did a good job with these guys and I hope I have shown some of you who are uh, interested in doing something similar that it can be accomplished quite easily. So thanks again everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me out and I would really appreciate it <laughs> and see you on the next video, alright everybody, bye for now, bye!